just be a normal field trip with a friend? No way! Cruising on down Main Street, you're relaxed and feeling good. Next thing that you know, you'll see it. Octopus in the neighborhood, surfing on the sine wave, swinging through the stars. It's a wild ride. Ahoy there, lads and lassies. Climb aboard for a splashing good time. Type in your name and then click the go button. To come aboard this vessel, you'll need a crew pass. Click the eyes, cheeks, nose, ears, and hair until you like your looks. Then, click the go button, and it's anchors away! Now that's a base that could launch a thousand ships! Welcome to the Whale Watch Command Center, where the games and experiments are wet and wild. When you hear the ocean's roar, just sail off through the door. Sperm whales are found in oceans all over the world. They are the deepest divers of all the great whales. The minkies may be the smallest baleen whales, but there are over 800,000 of them throughout the world. Compared to other whales, you might call them dinky minkies. <laughs> Belugas don't have a dorsal fin sticking up on their backs. This makes it easy for them to slide along under the ice in the Arctic, where they live. The boto is a river dolphin that swims in the Amazon and Orinoco rivers of South America. When these rivers flood, the botos have to swim carefully around trees and plants from the forest floor. Blue whales can be found in oceans all over the world. Big is much too small a word to describe a blue whale. It's enormous! Right whales favor warmer waters in winter and return to polar regions in summer for feeding. Spectacled porpoises live in the southern Atlantic Ocean and a few other places. Porpoises have a dorsal fin that is shaped like a triangle instead of a hook like a dolphin's. Fin whales are found in every ocean in the world, from the tropics to the polar regions, but they are rarely seen close to shore. Narwhals are usually found above the Arctic Circle. Narwhals are sometimes called the unicorn of the sea because of the long horn, actually a very long tooth that grows out of their heads. Whales have lungs and breathe oxygen from the air. Fish get their oxygen from the water by using their gills. A whale swims by pushing its tail flukes up and down, but a fish swims by moving its tail from side to side. Most fish have scales, but whales don't have scales at all. They have smooth skin and a small amount of body hair. Whales and fish both live... It's time for lunch at the Whale Ateria. Just click a tray to find out if the whale thinks it's a tasty treat or not. To see more food choices, click the arrows. To invite a new whale to lunch, click the whale seated at the table. Nothing like a mouthful of clams and mussels for belugas. The squid special gets a definite yes from the beluga. Fish is fine for beluga whales. 
The beluga cracked that crab in a hurry. The beluga won't sink its teeth into that. This beluga must feel that's not a real meal. That's definitely not a beluga delicacy. Zoa plankton for a lovely beluga lunch. The beluga really bolted that octopus. That morsel made the bottlenose dolphin turn up its nose. It's easy to get rid of squid, just feed it to a bottlenose dolphin. Fish is a fantastic food for a bottlenose dolphin. Dolphins are not in the mood for that kind of food. A bottlenose dolphin wouldn't dive into that dish. That morsel made the bottlenose dolphin turn up its nose. A bottlenose dolphin wouldn't dive into that dish. A tasty zooplankton snack is just the thing for this bottlenose dolphin. There's no telling why the bottlenose dolphin just loves octopus. That food isn't right for the blue whale's appetite. That kind of food gives the blue whale the blues. This blue whale won't touch a bit of that tidbit. That food isn't right for the blue whale's appetite. That kind of food gives the blue whale the blues. This blue whale won't touch a bit of that tidbit. That kind of food gives the blue whale the blues. A blue whale eats its fill of zooplankton, especially krill, krill, krill. This blue whale won't touch a bit of that tidbit. That's not a treat that an orca would eat. That food surely fails to please orca whales. One orca plus some squid equals a full tummy. Nothing like a fish dish for an orca. That's not a treat that an orca would eat. That food surely fails to please orca whales. It's lunch on the wing for this orca. Nothing beats the appeal of a harbor seal to an orca. For an orca, that's no lunch to munch. That's not a treat that an orca would eat. That's not the best for a minky to digest. This minky needs a different treat it likes to eat. A minky wouldn't make a meal out of that. Fish are never too stinky for this minky. This minky needs a different treat it likes to eat. A minky wouldn't make a meal out of that. Zoa Plankton, definitely on the minky menu. This photo got a raw deal on that meal. I've got to say, that's not the kind of prey that a Bodo eats. I've got a hunch, that's not the kind of lunch this Bodo goes for. You fulfilled this Bodo's wish for fish. That Bodo's a real consumer of crabs. The Bodo made a meal of that river turtle. I've got a... That's Come back soon to the Whale Ateria. <laughs> <laughs>